In this video, we're going to talk about the upcoming EB-5 filing deadline, what you need to know and how to prepare. Watch this video and learn more. Hello everybody, thanks for joining me on another immigration video update. Before we dive in into this uh, topic, I wanted to ask you to subscribe to our channel, click that bell below to be notified whenever I release a new video, a new update, and also if you want Please follow us on Instagram where I share other content and other exciting information. The accounts are linked uh, right here. So in this video, we're going to talk about the EB-5 filing deadline that is coming up on November 21st, 2019. And what it means is that after that date, the amounts of, this, of investment are going to increase. We've done already a few videos about the upcoming changes and the most recent video explained exactly what the changes are. But in this video, I wanted to make sure that people understand what they have to do now before those changes take place. So for example, we have a lot of questions about EB-5 regional centers and how people can invest to meet that. The issue is that as of, December, as of November 21st, the amount of investment for regional centers and also for investment in targeted employment areas is going to increase from 500,000 to 900,000, which is quite significant, almost double. So people are, you know, rightfully worried and want to make sure that if they want to do uh, or get an EB-5 um, green card, they should be doing it now. And quite a few regional centers are working with the investors. They, are, they will be accepting investment. Um, it is important to know that some of these projects do not require the full half a million before the deadline. So if you commit to a project and let's say you put 100, 200,000 to start and then you commit to put the rest of the money, let's say within six months, there are certain projects that will still accept you and you're still going to be within the guidelines of USCIS to make it before the deadline. So it's not all about putting the, the entire amount. It's really important to speak with an immigration attorney that understands AB5 rules and also work with a reputable regional center that will be able to accept an investment. The other change is that they're going to raise their uh, non-targeted employment um, investment from a million to one point uh, eight million, which is also almost double. That's going to happen after November 21st. So again, those projects also require certain planning before you invest if you do it before the deadline. What is really important to understand from this video is that if somebody is watching this video right now and they are interested in doing um, an investment in an EB-5 project, whether it's a regional center or non-regional center, now is the time to act. Now is the time to work on your source of funds. Now is the time to um, collect all the documents you need, do the due diligence before um, you are signing up with a regional center, doing all your investigation and research, talking to attorneys, accountants, whatever you need to do right now so you're able to make that investment in a calculated way before the deadline, before they're going to raise the amounts. So again, it is still possible to do that even if you don't have the full amount of half a million if you're going to invest in a regional center. It is possible to work with some of these regional centers, invest partial uh, amount of money and then still be able to do that if you commit to a certain amount of time even after the deadline. As long as, you're, as your investment is already in the project, you are signed up and you're ready to go. So this is just a quick video to let people know that there is a deadline where the amount of money is going to increase for EB-5 um, investment from half a million to 900,000 in non-targeted employment areas and regional centers as well and from a million to 1.8 in the regular uh, premise of traditional EB-5. So this is just a quick video to let people know that there is a deadline where the amount of money is going to increase for EB-5 um, investment from half a million to 900,000 in non-targeted employment areas and regional centers as well and from a million to 1.8 and the regular uh, premise of traditional AB5. So um, it's still a very good program for people to get green cards, but if you want to do it right, if you want to still use the, um, the reduced amount, now is the time to find your attorney, find the regional center, get your source of funds documents in order, and process this in the right way possible. Before we end, I want to make sure that you subscribe to our channel, click that bell, and get notified when we do new videos. Make sure to comment, share this with a friend. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video.